it's Peter here and I hope you guys like the preview of this brain rot effect I'm going to be showcasing to you guys today. Yeah, I thought this effect was pretty cool and I wanted to make a tutorial on it for you guys. And if you guys don't know, I have a website called editingvisuals.com where I have some yeah, pretty pretty cool editing packs that's going to help you out with your editing. So be sure to check out the website. Now let's get into the tutorial. So yeah, here are my After Effects. I have added a footage of Shay. I think you pronounce it that way. I think yeah, this is the guy who like came up with, with the like uh, or started using the uh, brain rot effects. So uh, yeah, I'm going to be showcasing it on his music video here. Uh, it's called Japan, and I'm going to sort of by making a adjustment layer. So I'm going to press Ctrl Alt Y. Basically, the low quality effect of the brain rot effect. So I'm going to start off by adding a sharpen to this, and I'm going to increase the sharper amount to 1K here. It's going to look something like this here. Very, very strong sharpen here. After that, I'm going to be adding post rise time and I'm going to set it to 8. So we get this like laggy look here. Looks pretty, pretty good so far. I'm also going to be adding mosaic to this. I think I'm going to add it above sharpen and I would say 500 works for this clip here. I'm going to scale it up a little bit. It's going to look something like this. Now I'm going to be adding these yeah, brain rot elements to the uh, effect basically. And here you guys can see I usually go into uh, Google, search up this uh, these pixel emoji transparent and just go in, download the ones you think look the best. You guys can use Pinterest as well. Try to find some cool pixelated textures you guys can use for this brain rot effect here. So here is a fire gif here I found. I'm going to increase the scale a little bit. Rotate it, something like that. Just add it in here, drag it under, get this fire look there. Also found these like low quality <laughs> emoji here. I'm going to add that as well. And I'm going to create this kind of laggy jitter effect to this. I'm going to drag it down to 50% or yeah, 35% here. And I'm going to be go, going to uh, rotation, keyframe the rotation here. Go a little bit back and forth here, create that kind of laggy look. You can make some bigger gaps as well. And after that, hold Alt, press the clock and then press loop, type loop out there. That's the uh, yeah, glitching effect it's going to get. And when you add it under, it's going to do something like that. Control D. Now I have these two, um, and I'm going to be adding a little bit more, and I'm going to be using the Brain Rot FX Ultimate Bundle by Tots by Gus. I'm going to be leaving a link in the description if you guys want to check it out. But yeah, basically I have a lot of uh, GIFs here you guys can use, already pre-made. So you can add some money signs, this internet browser, question marks. Then you just have to customize the rotation and the position for the elements here. I'm going to drag these under my effect here and there's also a lot of effects included in this brain rot effects uh, bundle so we go to animation user presets then we have the brain rot effects essentials here and also the text animation here so for example the essential jitter i'm going to add that to the browser see how it looks i'm going to create that jittering look to the to the texture it looks pretty pretty cool then i'm going to be adding a, another adjustment layer I'm going to be adding a low quality GIF here. I'm going to get this super low quality and you can try to move around the adjustment layers to get a new look. Maybe I'll add even more pixel rot. So we get this crazy crazy like brain rot pixel glitch effect. I think this looks pretty pretty cool and uh, yeah I'm pretty satisfied with this brain rot effect. This is hella fun to make these effects on life so. <laughs> Probably gonna add, try to add a bit more elements. Maybe the animated tracking box. Then you can make some cutouts for your footage, for example. So if I make it solo, I could add, make a mask here on Shay, for example. Press Ctrl D, delete the mask on the bottom layer. So get the background back. And on the top layer here, increase the scale. Open up the layer, mask, mask one, and then keyframe the mask path. So after that, maybe adjust the mask a little bit. Go to different frames, crazy mask here. Now if you have animated the uh, tracking a little bit, you guys can see how it's going to look on the footage. 
I'll have to increase the scale here a little bit. Something like that. So yeah, that's basically how you can make these really, really cool brain rot effects. I think they have a pretty, really cool style to them. And yeah, if you guys want to check out the Brain Rot Essentials bundle, it's going to be available in the description at the Friendly Files website. So be sure to check out this pack and bundle here. It looks absolutely amazing in my opinion. And if you guys like this tutorial, don't forget to like and subscribe and share this tutorial. Don't forget to check out my website, editingvisuals.com, where I have some pretty, pretty good editing packs that's going to help you out with your editing. Also, don't forget to check out my socials, join my Discord server, and I'll see you guys soon. Take care and have a nice day.